Hello Capricorn, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your May monthly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. Now, this reading can be for the person that you're dealing with, will be dealing with, will be dealing with, whatever spirit has for you. Their feelings towards you, we have the Empress. Their intentions, we have the Page of Wands. Their actions and behaviors towards you, we have the Knight of Wands. Your feelings towards them, we have the Three of Wands, the challenge between the two of you, the Ace of Wands, your advice, the Three of Cups, and the potential outcome, the Eight of Wands. Got the Five of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody's really attracted to you here, Capricorn. Especially with this uh, Empress being here for their feelings. Like somebody is feeling like they want to see what something can turn into. What they can create with you. Where something could go. Um, someone's very highly attracted to you. I just feel like they, they think really highly of you already, okay? So it's like, I'm really into Capricorn. I really like what I see here. I want to get to know them. I want to see what this could what this could be, what this could turn into, where this could go. Intentions, a page of wands. There's definitely interest, okay? Absolutely interest it's it's curiosity it's interest it's a spark it's attraction pages can also be messengers so you can see that their intention could be to see if you have that same interest in them if you see them the same way so getting ready to take a step towards you is what that feels like here you have the knight of wands for their actions and behaviors. Now, you do go right from this page to the night, so there definitely could be some kind of um, progression. When we go from the page to night, it's like a level up, it's a it's progression, so this could definitely be them going from having the intention of taking a step towards you or the intention of expressing themselves to them actually doing it. The Knight of Wands is a card of desire, you know, and the Knight of Wands goes for what he wants, you know. It's definitely a quick action card. So I would I would expect somebody to, it's like they catch your eye and they're not going to waste any time. Okay, you catch their eye and they are not wasting any time. So I do feel like somebody's moving towards you very quickly. I feel like this person is very sure of themselves as well. Okay, could definitely be a fire energy here. You have a lot of that. You have all the fire signs. You also have Taurus, Libra, Cancer. Okay, those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it could be any. For some of you guys, this could be somebody that you kind of dealt with in the past, but I don't feel like it's an ex. I feel like this is somebody that things didn't really necessarily get off the ground with. Because you do have the Ace of Wands as the challenge. So whatever card is in the challenge position, it basically gives it that reverse meaning. Ace of Wands in the universe is like something that has like a failure to launch. It really like, it maybe it started off, but it kind of like fizzled out or it didn't really go anywhere. You know, and I kind of feel like that here. I feel that maybe this is somebody that you like saw around in the past and it's like maybe you guys talked, but then it just kind of didn't go anywhere. And maybe at that time, especially with this Knight of Wands energy, you know, this person, it could seem like it's a little bit inconsistent, but I just feel like now somebody really wants to shoot their shot. It doesn't have to be the case for all of you. Some of you guys, this could be a brand new person, but it's just, is this going to turn into anything? With that Ace of Wands being the challenge, you may not have that same level of interest for them that they do for you. Now we have this Three of Wands energy for your feelings towards them. The three of wands, it can be kind of a card of waiting and manifesting. 
Some of you guys are have been trying to manifest something new into your life, but I feel like you don't want to settle with that energy. It's like you know exactly what you want and you're not willing to settle for anything less. And maybe that's where some of this disinterest comes is maybe you feel like there's something about this person. Maybe you see them as somebody who's, you know, just inconsistent or somebody who's not ready to settle down or looking for something serious. And I feel like you're just, you know what you want. You know, three months is a card of future thinking and foresight. Like, you know what that looks like for you. You know what you want your future to be and what you want, the kind of relationships and the kind of connections that you want to have. Now, your advice, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can be a card of dating. Um, so, you know, Spirit may just be, be asking you to be open, whether it's dating with this person or other people, okay? It can also be, you know, asking for support from others. You know, the Three of, Car or Three of Cups can definitely be a card of friendships and community as well. So maybe ask other people's opinions or, you know, seek out advice from you know, people who have been in similar situations. When we do have this eight of wands energy for the potential outcome. I definitely feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you here um, or shooting their shot. The eight of wands is definitely communication, but it can also be a card of uh, clear direction and precision, kind of really seeing where exactly what something is and where it could go. Um, you may be a little bit conflicted because of maybe past situations or because of especially for those of you who've kind of you're not sure about this person in general you have this five of swords energy like i said i feel like you know exactly what you want you don't want to settle but spirit may be asking you to be a little bit open-minded here um especially with that three of cups being your advice and right under this we do have the two of cups we have the world the world can talk about taking something to the next level so if there was something like that before you know this person there maybe that chapter may have closed out here now we do have this two of cups energy. You know, it can be coming into alignment. It can be a really good match. Even you have this four of cups and the two of swords. I would just make sure that if you're turning down this person, that it's because there's something about this person that is not in alignment with you or it's not for your best self and not just because you're closed off to love in general. Okay, because the four of cups can be a little bit guarded and can be a little bit closed off. You know, it's and some of you guys, it could even be because you're waiting on something else to come back from your past. Okay, I would be cautious of that too because I do feel like this is coming up to you for a reason. So I definitely see at least somebody shooting their shot. What you do with that Capricorn is totally up to you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time. Thank you.